We will now call the meeting of Monday, November 21st, 2022 uh, to order here in the council chambers. And this is our uh, city council meeting for the month of the last one in the month of November. So at this time, I'd like to explain the disaster drills. Of course, if we have a tornado, we all go out by the uh, sewer department billing area and go down the steps to the basement. And if we have a fire, we go directly out the exit doors, hopefully in an orderly manner. And uh, that is where you're supposed to go and wait until we get uh, clearance of the situation. Since the meetings are being videotaped, it's important that we speak directly into the microphone so everyone that's watching us on YouTube uh, can understand what we're talking about and to see and hear us well. So Jenny, would you like to start with roll call of the aldermen? Alderman Hazel, Alderman Whitaker. Here. Alderman Duco, Alderman Aris, Alderman Randall. Here. Alderman Ferguson, Alderman Anthony. Here. Alderman Ovian. Here. Alderman Dentleman. Here. Alderman Schaefer. Here. Alderman Steele. Alderman Rothweiler. Here. Alderman Elmore. Here. Alderman Wygon, Alderwoman Sullivan, Here. Alderwoman Ostoff, Here. Mayor Hazel, Duco, Ferguson, oh, Aris, and Steele are excused. Okay, thank you. We have a lot of aldermen with kids that came in from college uh, yesterday, so some of them are having family get-togethers tonight. Uh, Jenny, could you call for the department heads? City Treasurer Bierman. City Attorney Horner. Present. Police Chief Matt Icecan. Here. Interim Fire Chief Rick Mongolin. Here. Finance Director Jamie Matrit. Here. Director of Public Works Jason Peabom Poole. Here. Director of Wastewater Randy Smith. Here. Director of Library Leander Spearman. Here. Assistant Director of IT Ty Buckner. Here. City Engineer Sel Elcott. Here. Director of Health, Housing, and Building Scott Tyler. Here. Director of e Economic Development, Planning, and Zoning Cliff Cross. Right. Director of Human Resources William Clay. Director of Communications and PR, Kathy Kaiser. I have just Kathy up. Excuse okay. me. Thank you so much. Let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> Tonight we have no public hearing, but we may have public participation, which is two to three minutes. Do we have anyone here who wants to participate in public participation? Mrs. Gibson, Mary Gibson. process by following the letter that they got from SBA if it was referred to if they were referred to SBA and if you have not registered we're encouraging you to register but the process continues if you complete the application and if SBA is unable to make you the loan then SBA will refer you back to FEMA for other need assistance however if SBA is able to make the loan the loan is made at a low interest rate, a long period of time, and the first $25,000, 
for homeowners and renters and business for the physical damage is $25,000 without collateral. For business and economic injury and physical damage in, in St. Clair County, you can get up to 25 for physical damage and up to 25 uh, in economic injury without collateral. So we're encouraging everyone to complete the process so that you can keep the doors open so that you may get consideration for all the system that may be available for you, even if SBA is unable to make your loan. If SBA is able to make your loan, then you will complete the process by receiving the funds from the SBA. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we actually have a proclamation for you. Anyone else for public participation? I think we have a couple more. Minutes. Okay, great.
the Parks Board for between 15 and 20 years. I'm not really sure exactly how long. Um, but I am here tonight, first of all, to invite everyone to please come to a Parks Board meeting. We would love to have you um, to see everything that we do for the city. Um, and also to ask about trying to look into a new community center. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with the Nickel Center, which is where most of our programs are housed right now. Um, but it, it is a hundred year old building and it flooded over the summer and then there was a fire in it on Halloween and uh, a sewer leak just recently, I think maybe last Thursday. It needs a lot of work, um, and, but our community needs to have something for people to go to. Um, we would love to have your help in that, so please come to a park board meeting. We would love to discuss it. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much for being here. And I just have to say, our Parks and Recreation Department, they are fabulous. And they do wonderful things for families and uh, children in our community. Yesterday we just had the Gingerbread Award Ceremony, and it was just great to see all those little kids there with their shining faces, especially when they won an award. So uh, we're very grateful for what the park board does and also what the, uh, the employees of the Parks and Rec uh, Department do. So that is one thing that we do need and uh, would like to spruce up some areas with that. So I would love to, if any of the aldermen would want to go with me to the next Parks Board meeting. I certainly would appreciate your company. Thank you. Okay, anyone else? Yes. Hi. Uh, my name is Brendan Parson, 229 South Pennsylvania. Um, this is the next bound on, on what Mark uh, just laid out for you guys. I've been serving on the Parks and Rec Board uh, now for a little over a year. It's my first year as a Parks and Board member, and I've been introduced and seen firsthand the level of passion professionalism and drive to improve that the city's very committed parks and recreation and their maintenance teams bring to the positions of employment, as you just said, Mayor. In particular, I'm continually blown away every month at the levels of activities, sports, programs, running events, 5Ks, walking, biking, events, you name it, that the city's recreation department staff runs and oversees. I applaud the city for such a large depth of recreation programs, and again, I think it speaks volumes to, this, to the overall department, the staff, and the city as a whole. The only thing I found to be more eye-opening than the talents and passions of the city's recreation department and their depths of services is the lack, <coughs> excuse me, the lack of infrastructure and building conditions to support such services. The Nichols Community Center, which is the only recreational facility in town, is sorely deficient in many areas and is a facility that I feel has served its useful lifespan and then some. A city as large and as forward-thinking as Belleville is does best when it invests in it when it invests in its own and in, in its future. Facilities as out, outdated and past its use would not have any rightful place in housing our city's proud first responders, for example, and I applaud this and past councils for having the foresight to make these investments when appropriate. We sit here tonight, in fact, meeting and discussing in a much needed and upgraded city hall. Improvements to accessibility, security, and other functionalities were needed to a very out, outdated governmental building, and again, the city recognized and address this need when required. <clears throat> Excuse me. I would like to ask that the, the same consideration be given to the spirit of the community. The recreation facilities of this town are the places for the citizens, and improving them would be a strong vote of investment for the citizens, our youth, and the future. I ask only for the invitation to those interested to see the current conditions firsthand. The band-aid fixes, failing in envelope, and building systems well beyond the recommended lifespan will be strongly apparent. Obvious will be the lack of appropriate recreational square footages. Most concerning, however, might be the issues of accessibility and life safety. We come here tonight not asking for a solution or a quick fix to the problem, only the first steps forward to even identifying the problem. This is not an in insurmountable problem. Assembling a department and staff with the passions and drive that they have is the hard part. That's already in place. Now we just need matching facilities worthy. Please invest your time for this department invest your time for the citizens, and please invest your time for the city's future. Assuredly, a replacement re recreational facility will be needed. It is not if, but when. 
and we are hoping to only put forth a proactive solution, not a reactive one. Thank you all for your time. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Okay, anyone else for public participation? Well, I won't be quiet and dead <laughs> as my fellow member, but I'm Mike Heisler, 2114 East D Street. I'm here tonight with other members of the Belleville Parks and Recreation Board to initiate discussion, as what was stated before, for a new community center to replace the existing Nichols Center. The Nichols Center has served as Belleville's community center since 1979. The facility previously served as Bunsen School from 1929 to 1978. The 93-year-old two-story building has been used for many of parks and recreation indoor programs such as basketball, exercise program. But like many other, like many older structures, it is showing its age. Maintenance issues such as roof, air conditioning, sewer, and gas have cropped up. Restrooms are old and need to be updated. Even a bigger issue is the facility is not ADA compliant. The city comprehensive plan found that the Nichols Center is inadequate for a city of Belleville size. To the council, and I'd like to state it by my other members, the, the, if you would like to tour the Nichols Center, even if you've already seen it, the, the staff would definitely be more than happy to take you through the center. Thank you for your time tonight. Thank you, Mike. And I, you brought it up at a very good time because we are doing a new comprehensive plan through our economic development department. So that is something that, as citizens, you can bring up also uh, when we do the master planning for the community. So thank you all for being here. Anyone else? Okay. Excuse me, John. Madam Mayor. Yes. Well, do you need me to get up there, or can I go from here? Oh, yeah, whichever you would prefer. All right. Um, I would like to, um, you know, just take a little time here to, uh, I don't know if, if everybody was aware of the uh, fire that, that occurred at my daughter's house down at 421 Lebanon on the uh, morning of the 12th. Uh, anyway, they... Uh, Engine companies, uh, I think one and two, uh, Battalion 4, responded to that fire and successfully uh, rescued my daughter out of, the, out of a window. I mean, she was, uh, she was unconscious, and, they, and she had to be resuscitated. She had uh, uh, second and third degree burns. And um, I just wanted to take this time to thank those uh, those officers, I want to thank Interim uh, Chief Wangland, uh, thank Battalion 4 for quick response, quick and professional response, and I feel that, that it saved the life of my daughter. You know, also I'd like to thank uh, 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 Sergeant Ray, you know, Police Department of Gas that, uh, you know, that were, that were out there, one of the police officers actually passed by there and spotted smoke and turned around, got out of his vehicle, and searched and found the fire. Uh, that, that's, that's, that's amazing. I find that to be amazing, you know, as an ex-firefighter. And I know what can happen in those precious moments, you know. So uh, just want to, uh, to thank those guys again, you know, for, for what they did out there. It's, it's uh, you know, what do, what do you say, you know? But, uh, She's thankful, and, and, and she said she wanted to go around to the files. I said, hey, well, you know, take your time. So she's at home. You know, they, they had to uh, uh, take over to Mercy and, uh, and get that uh, soot and stuff out of her. So she's still coughing a little bit, but, but she's going to live and, and uh, you know, be able to tell the story again. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> And Mr. Anthony, we have been keeping your daughter in our thoughts and prayers and your, you and your wife. Uh, and I also want to say that our, our police and fire departments here cannot be beat. So we're very excited and happy to have the first responders here in Belleville 
that really know what they're doing. So I thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, any more participation? Hearing none. Excuse me. Thank you. Uh, we, I need a motion to appoint Jason Brownlee to fill a vacancy on Human Relations Commission and to serve the remainder of a term expiring on May 17th, 2024. Do Same I here. have a Same motion here. and second? Elmore. Elmore, any discussion? Is Mr. Brownlee here tonight? Okay. Hearing no discussion, roll call. Whitaker? Aye. Randall? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dentleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you very much. And now I need a motion to approve the appointment of Lloyd Stinson as Fire Chief, effective November 22nd, 2022 at 12.01 a.m., pursuant to 10-2, Dash one one dash four of the Illinois Municipal Code six five ILCS five slash ten dash two one dash four and section thirty three point oh four of the city's revised code of ordinances and findings that such position requires technical training or knowledge as set forth in the applicable job description within the meaning of section 31.031A of the city's revised code of ordinances. Do I have a motion? A second? Gentlemen. Thank you. Uh, any discussion? Mayor? Yes. You know, I, um, I find it amazing that we just, uh, you just said that what a fantastic fire department we have and police department that we have here in the city of Belleville. Um, I've read the, uh, the gentleman's resume mm -hmm. and I'm very impressed. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's something that you don't regularly see in, um, you know, in the fire service with someone that with this much, I'm gonna call it bling, on his resume. Um, what I have a, a, a situation with is here, is that, you know, I don't see any uh, municipal fire service experience of this, of this gentleman, and, uh, you know, not taking anything away from him. Uh, municipal firefighting, which I've never, I've never done uh, 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 Air Force or uh, Air Base firefighting. I know that in in in, uh, in residential, commercial, high rises and and the like, and it's it's a specialized type firefighting. And you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't bring a uh, a forest firefighter to Belleville to lead a group of firefighters here. Um, We've, uh, just in my experience, you know, being here the, the years that I've been here, been through a great number of chiefs, we've got one of the best fire departments in the state of Illinois. We enjoy a uh, ISO rating of, uh, of a two, which is pretty much unattainable by most, most departments in this state. Um, and, and I know that, that you guys had made up your mind pretty much on this candidate, uh, I, I've uh, also Anthony. made up my mind. Alderman Anthony, um, why don't we go into executive session? Beg your pardon? Why don't we go into executive session and okay. talk specifically okay. about the candidate? I'll right. make a motion to go into closed session. <clears throat> Second. Okay. okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Um, Alderman Elmore made the motion.
discussion. Alderman Gentleman second. Okay, any more discussion? I believe hearing none, would you like to uh, call for the vote? Yep. Randall? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Obian? Aye. Dentleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Okay. Uh, now we will need uh, approval of minutes. I'll make a motion to approve City Council and Executive Session minutes of November 7th, 2022. Okay. Randall? Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Okay, a motion to approve claims and disbursements in the amount of $4,220,740.10. Payroll in the amount of $936,499.59. Second. Schaefer. Discussion. Hearing none, roll call. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dentleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Wygon? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Randall? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Okay, thank you very much. And before we go any further, I would like to introduce our new fire chief, Mr. Lloyd Stinson. <laughs> Would you like to introduce who's with you here tonight? Yes, uh, this is my wife, can, Lloyd. Can I have you come up to the microphone? I'm sorry for the minute. This is my wife, Joy, my daughter, Samantha, and my son, Christopher. Nice meeting you both. And I know you're very proud of your father. So we are happy to have him with us here in the city of Belleville. And is this a friend of yours? This is Chief Wall. She's the Sky Air Force Base Chief, Fire Chief. Excuse me. Great. Great. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you, too, ma'am. Thank you for being here. Thanks. Okay. So no reports. So we will start with oral reports from standing committees, special committees, or any other oral reports from the elected officials or staff. Motion from traffic, Mr. Elmore. Yes, I'll go through the group if the pledge no objection. Uh, motion A, 11A, one, motion for no parking east at April Court for 70 feet on the south side of Gettysburg. Motion 11A, two, motion for a three-way stop sign at Commons Parkway and Pine Valley intersection. 11A3, motion to create a school speed zone at MC School 741 Westchester Drive from South 74th Street to Sheffield Drive. Those are our motions. Okay. Uh, do I hear a second? Schaefer. Okay. Any discussion? Roll call? Nope, they can do that. Oh. All in favor. All in favor. Aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Mr. Dittleman, motion from Master Sewer. I'd like to make a motion from Master Sewer Department. Uh, motion to approve 11B1. Uh, let's approve a contract with Crawford, Murphy, and Tilly of St. Louis to upgrade our alum uh, chemical feed systems at both treatment plants, not to exceed $69,910. Second. Any second? Uh, second. Dennis? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yep, Thank you. Okay. Any discussion? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thirty-five hundred gallons at a time. We're paying sharp loads. 
and the transportation fee and fuel extra charges is getting astronomical. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, we looked at upgrading this in 2016 and tabled it. Well, the EPA, federal, and state has now come up and said by 2024, you need to increase the Allen fee to get your phosphorus discharge from currently one milligram per liter down to 0.5. We're averaging 300 to 400 gallons per day feed, which entails us having to have sometimes two and three loads a week shipped to us because of not being able to accept larger volumes and we're paying sharp, sharp load charges every time they deliver. So Crawford Murphy and Tully is going to come in review what we currently have, they're going to make recommendation, and then they're going to draw up plan specs, apply for upgrading our permit to, in order to enlarge it, take the specifications and the plans and everything else out to bid and bring it back to us ready to award to a selected contractor to do this type of work. Okay. We anticipate, you know, with it all said and done, currently we're running about uh, $5,100 a year. We could possibly save if we increased it at today's feed rates. So that will probably double once we have to start <coughs> putting in and getting that 0.5. So we're hoping around $10,000 a year savings by able to accept larger loads. Plus we'll be able to go out and bid it on an open market where now we're limited to only one and two suppliers delivering sharp loads. Okay. okay. Any more discussion or questions for Mr. Smith? Okay. Hearing none, roll call. Ovian? Aye. Dittleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Randall? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Okay. Motion from Board of Fire and Police Commissioner. A motion to approve the lateral hiring of probationary police officer, Jerry Weatherby, effective tomorrow, Tuesday, November 22nd, 2022 at 12.01. Anthony. A.M. Whitaker. Okay, any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Dittleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Randall? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you. And this will be our 16th police officer that has been uh, hired. And I believe, doesn't this bring us to the maximum number now? Yes? Yeah. Okay. So unless we get a grant that we're hoping for. Okay, so now from Mr. Whitaker, motions for finance. Any objections to them as a group? No. no. 11D1, motion to approve workman's compensation, property liability insurance renewal with ICRMT as recommended by our broker. 11D2, motion to waive the formal bidding procedures and utilize the source well contract to purchase a new 2023 Freightliner M2 with a new Sidewinder 31 CU yard automated side loader body for $290,200 and 11D3, a motion to waive the formal bidding procedures and utilize the source well contract to purchase a new 2023 Ford F-550 with a Viking size Midwest dump body salt spreader and snow plow in the amount of $118,717. So moved. Thank you. Any second? Favor. Okay, discussion. Hearing none, roll call. Schaefer? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Randall? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dittleman? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you. Motion from Police and Fire Committee, Alderman Anthony. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, on behalf of the uh, Police and Fire Committee, I would like to make a motion to approve the purchase of a 2000E1 custom pumper that is currently on lease from Banner Fire Equipment in the amount of $30,000. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? 
Wigand? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Randall? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dillman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you. A uh, motion from the library board, since Alderwoman Duco is absent, I will be reading the motion. Uh, this is motion to approve an easement with IDOT for ADA sidewalk improvements at 121 East Washington Street. Can we read them together? Yeah, that's it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And also a motion to approve a contract for the installation of a solar array at 121 East Washington Street. Randall, so moved. Second. Schaefer. Okay. Discussion. A uh, question, Mayor. Yes. Uh, we are mentioning a solar array. Are these, uh, is this the uh, same type of installation that they're putting in down in, down in East St. Louis uh, uh, and in Washington Park? Okay. Would you like to answer that, Leander? Thank you. It's similar. It's similar to what they did with the school to school districts, the school buildings. This is solar array that will be on the roof oh. that will offset our electrical costs. Okay. This will be no cost to us. This is being purchased by a third party funder, and we will purchase the electricity at a discounted rate from this third party, <coughs> and they will receive all the tax benefits since we cannot be in the municipal body. Thank you, Leander. I was, I was, what I was thinking was the uh, the big fields that they're they're developing. Uh, so thank you. Yeah, this will be on the roof. So. Thank you. Thanks. So it really will not be anything that with our Carnegie Library that's going to show, right? You know, to the general public. Right. So. I got you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Motions from the Planning Commission. Oh, yeah. We need to do. A roll oh, call. I'm sorry. We didn't do a roll call. Guess I was going to let that one go by. <laughs> Elmore. Aye. Wygon. Aye. Sullivan. Aye. Ostoff. Aye. Whitaker. Aye. Randall. Aye. Anthony. Aye. Ovian. Aye. Dentleman. Aye. Schaefer. Aye. Rothweiler. Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you. Motions from Planning Committee. Uh, Mr. Dittleman. On behalf of the Planning Commission, I'd like to make a motion. Can I read both of these together? Yes. On 11G1, Club Car Wars Development, site plan approval for the construction of approximately 5,394 square foot Club Car Wars with 20 associated vacuum stalls on an approximately 60,775 square foot Lot with a C4 commercial district. 2500 Greenmount Commons Drive, parcel number 09 19 102 001, Ward 7. Planning Commission recommended approval with a vote of 7 to nothing. Okay. You're going to do the next one? You want to read the next one too? Oh, I do want to read the next one. <laughs> 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 11 D2. Immunotech Biocenters. Site plan approval for the construction of approximate 9,000 square foot plasma donor center. It's a medical office building with 56 parking spaces on approximate 103,237 square foot lot within a C2 heavy commercial district at 5510 North Belt West, parcel number 08-18-100-031, Ward 8. Planning Commission recommended approval with a vote of seven to nothing. Okay. I need a second. Schaefer. Okay. Now discussion, please. Any discussion or questions? Okay. I would would like to tell you that uh, with the bio center, it will be bringing in forty new jobs that will be medical lab and doctors and technicians. In the club car wash, I think, Cliff, are you still here? You want to tell what has happened with the club car wash? Well, if you recall out at uh, Belleville Crossing, we originally had two car washes that were proposed to come in out there. Um, <clears throat> club car wash, in a sense, is a tidal wave car wash. So they are proposing to place this one out at Greenmount Commons uh, in the place of the current PNC building. So um, we're going to have one on each end of town is what we're, what we're going to have here. I think the concern that came up 
and, and I don't know the definite answer to this, but out at Belleville Crossing, the concern was the close proximity of two, exit, two car washes within that development. My guess would be that Tidal Wave is not going out there now and replacing it with this club car wash because that's the new developer of the Tidal Wave car washes. I think Shiloh is a classic example where you can see that that now has become a club car wash in the place of that original Tidal Wave car wash that was there. So, um, not saying they both won't go out there at Belleville Crossing, but um, I would suspect these are going to be our two car washes throughout the city, one on each end of the town. Okay. Yes. It's right next to the uh, drive in theater. So they're building a new building between the car wash and Shenanigans. Yes, and it's actually uh, yeah. part of the existing yeah. um, uh, drive in theater. They did a lot of reconfiguration to accommodate this. This is really, in a sense, going over the existing parking lot there that's kind of off the lot next to um, the, the, the uh, drive in theater and the, and the bar. Um, I think um, one of the important things that did come out of the plan commission, and this is sometimes what's nice about having the site plan review and the site plan control, which is the purpose of it. I think one of the, the most positive things that come out of it is my understanding there's some significant runoff issues that go out on North Belt West by a new development coming in there. Now we have the opportunity to have some stormwater runoff control to prevent some flooding out in North Belt West, which I think Sal and Randy and everybody was <coughs> happy about. Um, so that's a positive from it, that we're gonna have some ability to have some extra um, impervious surface control and stormwater runoff at, at the time this thing is developed. So I think that's, that's a plus there as well with this development. Thank you. And the 40 jobs will be higher paying jobs also. Okay, any more discussion? Thank you. Thank you. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Motion carries. No communications this evening. No petitions. Uh, resolution. Uh, I need a motion to read by title only. Resolution 3461. <coughs> Randall, so moved. Schaefer, second. Okay. Thank you. This is a resolution for warranty deed and temporary construction. Oh, I got to call first whether we can read it this way that we just said. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. Okay. Uh, Jenny, you want to read the resolution? 14A, resolution 3461, resolution for warranty deed and temporary construction easement, 121 East Washington Street, Belleville, Illinois. Schaefer, so moved. Randall, second. Roll call? Any discussion? Oh, any discussion? Boy, I'm glad you're here with me tonight. <laughs> Wygant? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Randall? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dentleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you. Under ordinances, I need a motion to read by title only ordinances 9098, 9099, <laughs> and 9100. So as a group. Okay. Any discussion? Could you please be the second? I'm I'll sorry. be the second to run. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carries. Jenny? 15A, Ordinance 9098-2022, and Ordinance Amending Article 7, Traffic Code Chapter 76, Part D Schedules, are the revised ordinances of the City of Belva, Illinois, as amended by amending portions of sections thereof. 15B. Ordinance 1999-2022 and Ordinance Amending Article 7, Traffic Code Chapter 75. Traffic schedules of the revised ordinance of the City of Belva, Illinois, is amended by amending portions of sections thereof. 15C, Ordinance 9100-2022 and Ordinance Amending Article 7, Traffic Code Chapter 75, Traffic schedules of the revised ordinances of the City of Belva, Illinois, as amended by many portions of sections thereof. Okay. Yeah. Schaefer, you make a motion. Randall, second. Okay, any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Sullivan? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Randall? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dittleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. 
Thank you very much. Uh, we have no unfinished business. Uh, is there any miscellaneous or new business? I do need a motion to approve motor fuel claims in the amount of $8,614.67. Okay, any discussion? Hearing none. Roll call. Ostoff? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Randall? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Dental? Sorry. Ovian? Aye. Dentleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you very much. And there, having already had the executive session, I believe the next point of order is motion to adjourn. Schaefer, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Randall, second. Thank you. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you. I want to wish all of you a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you.